What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Up Tech, my name is Ben and finally today when it comes to iOS 15.1, I'll be happy to let you know that we finally have the next beta which is beta 3 so it was released after one week since the release of beta 2 and for me on my iPhone X that you are seeing here, I'm going to be updating to it and you can see that the update size came in at exactly 861 point one megabytes i was updating from beta 2 on my iphone x now obviously this is not all that apple released today it's been a busy day you can see that today apple released mac os monterey beta 9 and they also released ios 15.1 beta 3 also ipad os 15.1 beta 3 and also watch os 8.1 beta 3 and tv os 15.1 beta 3 most of these updates i'm going to be covering here on the channel at half men of tech so if you want to stay up to date with most software updates from apple then a sub to the channel would be appreciated now if we go into the settings just to see some uh, software changes that came with this update you can see that i've already updated and if we go to the about this iphone section you can see that we finally have a new build number and it's 19b 5060d so the build number that we have now has a d at the end and in terms of stability we took two steps from beta 2 that had an f at the end but that's not all that has been improved when it comes to the software changes if you look at the modern firmware version at least for this iphone x you can see that it's been improved we now have 5.00.00 before that on beta to we actually had 4.50.02 so this means that if you're having issues that have anything to do with wireless connection like wi-fi bluetooth or cell those issues could be resolved with this update i know myself personally i was having issues when it came to like wi-fi and cell speeds so hopefully this update fixes that issue as it was quite annoying for me now when it comes to new features and changes the first one that i would like to highlight for you since i use the apple watch quite a lot i'll be covering watch os 8.1 shortly the first change that i noticed with this uh, update is that once you open up your apple watch for the first time and you have a watch to pair with your device you're going to see a new pairing screen and it's going to have the apple watch series 7 and this is the screen that you're going to see and it's going to basically tell you that ios 15.1 and watch os 8.1 do support the apple watch series 7 that's going to begin pre-orders on friday this coming friday so that is something that you can uh, check out also something that has been improved has to do with airdrop and also screen mirroring so airplay has been improved as well when it comes to this ios 15.1 beta 3 on beta 2 quite a number of issues were present when it came to screen mirroring i was having issues where my mirrored screen would be blacked out on the secondary monitor but that has been fixed with this update and i noticed that airdrop is a little bit faster with this update so that is something that's great and when you if you actually have the iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max this update actually adds prores video support so in the corner of your device you'll be able to shoot prores video support but keep in mind that you do need a lot of storage on your device in order to actually try and shoot proro because it does take a lot of memory and also when it comes to storage or memory this update resolved some issues that had to like do with storage where the iphone would show that you're using more storage than you actually are for some users although it's not for everyone so that has been addressed also this update if you are using airport max and you want to be able to turn on noise cancellation you get a new message on the bottom of the switch toggle which will tell you that you need to actually put your airport max on top of your head in order to enjoy that feature so that is something that has been addressed and also when it comes to the shortcut application if you were using a shortcut to like set a fixed alarm or 
a shortcut to set a wallpaper on your device this update now recognizes those shortcuts unlike what was happening on ios 15.1 beta 2 now those seems to be some of the new features as well as the changes you can see that there isn't a lot it's more for like the iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max they benefit the most when it comes to ios 15.1 beta 3 however when it comes to some of the bugs like i mentioned you you might see that the storage bug is still present despite updating this hasn't been resolved for everyone and also there are issues when it comes to carplay if you make calls using the telephone app you might lose like connection with your caller that is an issue that is still present and is mentioned in the release notes of ios 15.1 beta 3 now other than that that's how this update came in for me in terms of when we'll see the next update or beta i do expect it to come like on the 12th of october since we are still on a weekly release cycle when it comes to ios 15.1 betas and then perhaps after that we can talk about an rc or official release sometime after that and also we are hopeful that on the 12th of october we might see an apple event so fingers crossed and if that does happen i'll definitely keep you updated here on the channel now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to ios 15.1 beta 3 a bug fix update and a very crucial update for the iphone 13 pros now stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace